On today's show, Chevy reveals a wild crossover concept in Shanghai. How Lincoln's design is evolving to differentiate itself from the competition. And Renault reveals its vision of what a Formula One race car will look like in 10 years. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show for enthusiasts of the automotive industry. You know, we love to show you how the auto industry is making progress with new technology, and here's the latest in autonomy. Mentor Graphics, which makes electronic hardware and software and is owned by Siemens, just introduced a new platform that enables SAE Level 5 autonomous driving. That means no human input is needed to drive the car. Instead of using microprocessors and sensors, like radar, lidar, and cameras, the DRS360 platform transmits info from all the sensors into a central processing unit where raw data is combined in real time. This allows automakers to use smaller sensors, which creates a more simplified and cheaper system to enable autonomous driving. You know, in the past when it came to measuring body panels, workers had to pull them off the line, clamp them in jigs, and manually measure every single dimension. In some cases, parts of the car had to be ripped apart to test them. But BMW developed a fully automated optical measuring cell that measures every inch of the car and creates a 3D model, which was first used in the development of the all-new 5 Series. And now engineers from its motorsport team are using the technology. In some racing series, all measurements regarding the cars are regulated right down to the exact millimeter. So the cell helps make sure the teams adhere to all the specs. And as with the new M4 DTM car, it's hand built. So it ensures all the panels are fitted properly. With the automated cell, BMW was able to cut the time it spent measuring panels in half. And as we all know, time is money. We'll be back with more right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. And by Borg Warner, propulsion solutions that support a clean, energy efficient world. Lincoln is in the process of reinventing itself as a luxury brand, and part of that plan includes evolving the brand's styling. On last week's AutoLine After Hours, we were joined by David Woodhouse, the head of design at Lincoln. And in the following clip, he discusses how it's differentiating its vehicles from the competition. You know, we had these beautiful, iconic cars in the 50s and 60s. And I think what you're seeing with the brand essence and what we're striving to achieve now is actually just finding our true center again. So we, we talk about quiet luxury. Um, we don't want to be the brashest on the block. We don't, we don't want to talk about brake horsepower and performance figures in that kind of arms race that everyone else is in. Uh, we want to be about something else. And I think there's a lot of customers out there who actually appreciate what we're trying to do now about quiet luxury, about serene interiors, about exteriors that are about elegance and beauty. When I look at so many other luxury cars, they look aggressive, I think is the word I'd use. And when I look at your designs, I would say soothing. Yeah, that, that's great that you say that, John, because I mean, that, that is what we're aiming for. Um, I think the competitors are in the world of attack and uh, we want to personify seduction. So I think really we, we want to get back to that beauty and allure and elegance and seduce the customer with what we, what we do. John and Gary also speak to executives from Toyota and Infiniti about their New York reveals. And you can watch that entire episode right now on our website, autoline.tv. Just look for it on our YouTube channel. And speaking of after hours, be sure to tune in to tomorrow's show. It's going to be all about the new Buick Enclave because our special guest is Jace Stokes, the product manager of the full-size crossover. So if you've got any questions about the Enclave, send them to viewer mail at autoline.tv or hit us up through Twitter. And then head over to our website Thursday afternoon for some of the best insider discussions in the automotive industry. Coming up next, a look at some of the concepts that debuted at the Shanghai Auto Show. <music> Out 
Audi will roll out a new e-tron electric SUV next year that will be followed in 2019 by a coupe version, which just made its official debut. Highlights of the Audi e-tron Sportback include three electric motors, one on the front axle, two on the back, that help propel the vehicle to 100 kilometers an hour in four and a half seconds. A hefty 95 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack will give it over 300 miles of range. And while I don't think the square shape of the front end fits well with the rest of the design, it's a much better attempt at an electric SUV than Mercedes EQ concept. It's going to be interesting to see what the production version looks like in a few years. Renault just revealed its vision for what a Formula One race car will look like in a decade. Called the RS 2027 Vision, it still looks similar to today's cars, but it's designed to be more engaging with fans. For example, it features a transparent helmet and closed cockpit so fans can see the driver's face and expressions. Active LED lights are incorporated into the wheels that display info like the driver's position, and the telemetry will be available to fans through the internet. It's powered by a V6 turbo engine and its Kinetic Energy Recovery System, or KERS, features two 250 kilowatt electric motors, one in the front and one in the rear. And for safety purposes, it's equipped with autonomous technology that takes over during yellow flags. And it has V2V technology that lets it communicate its position with the team or other drivers. Two years ago at the Shanghai Auto Show, Chevy took the wraps off this wild looking concept called the FNR. And now the company is showing off the crossover version called the FNRX. While the styling is aggressive, it's not quite as radical as the previous concept. The plug-in hybrid features an active suspension that allows it to adjust ground clearance on demand. And to improve aerodynamics, it's equipped with active grille shutters and switchable wheel blades that adjust automatically during highway driving to reduce drag. The interior is also futuristic looking and features intelligent ambient lighting that changes colors depending on the drive mode. Like the previous FNR concept, the X was created by GM's Pan-Asia Technical Automotive Center. But that wraps up today's show. Thank you for watching and please join us again here tomorrow.